for three. Yeah, they rise to their feet in Moraga. This is St. Mary's Basketball Live Courtside. Here's Alex Jensen. Back in University Credit Union Pavilion, the lights are down. The uh, intro video for the Gales being shown right now as the starter's about ready to be announced here in Moraga in front of a fanless gym, of course. Hope you're all doing well. Alex Jensen back with you here in Moraga. Let's take a quick look at Texas Southern before we get to today's starters. They're one and two to start the year. This is the fourth of a season opening 11 game road trip for the Tigers. Of course, they've already been through Washington State, just a four point loss, Oklahoma State and Wyoming, who they beat on a last second put back by Galen Alexander with uh, less than two, two seconds to go. The Tigers trailed by as many as 21 in that game. So uh, coming in, the Tigers are at one and two and trying to win their second in a row. They're trying to get back to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2017. The Tigers have been five times since 2011, between 11 and 17, in fact, 2011, 2013, 15, 16, and 17, but they have not been back since then. Johnny Jones, the third year head coach of Texas Southern, looking to get the Tigers back to the NCAA tournament. And he's got a team that's picked to win the SWAC in the preseason coaches and media poll. He's won 336 game in his head coaching career. He also spent time 11 years at North Texas and five at LSU. In fact, he went to the NCAA tournament back in 2015 with LSU and had five straight 20 win seasons at North Texas. This team has five or nine returners rather from a 16 and 16 team a year ago, but several transfers with high major experience mixed in, including Michael Weathers, who's the SWAC co-player of the week, reigning SWAC co-player of the week, uh, Jalen Al Galen Alexander, I mentioned him, and John Walker III. Galen Alexander out of uh, Georgetown and LSU. Michael Weathers from Miami o of Ohio and Oklahoma State. And John Walker III from Texas A&M. And that's just to mention a few. We'll get to more of those transfers as we roll along. Let's get to our starting lineups now. They're brought to you by University Credit Union as the teams take the floor here. First for Texas Southern. In the backcourt, Michael Weathers alongside Justin Hopkins with Galen Alexander. And the front court is John Walker III and Jordan Carl Nicholas as Toss and Nicholas will tip, and it's controlled by Texas Southern. For the Gales, Tommy Cousy. Jay Mullins gets his third consecutive start with Dukas, Dan Fotu, and Matthias Toss. That is Weathers throwing to the right side. Attacking the basket to the left side of your screen. Here's Nicholas. Nice slip from the left side, or from the right side, rather. Goes up the rim. Can't score, but he's fouled. So Nicholas will get to the line as he's fouled by Dukas. So right away, Jordan Carl Nicholas, junior out of Pearland, Texas. Spent time at Stephen F. Austin and Montana. 6.3 points per game through the first three contests for Texas Southern. He misses the first free throw. Foul on Dukas, of course. No starting lineups. Brought to you by University Credit Union, the official financial institution of St. Mary's College. Bank with your brain. Visit ucu.org to, to join today. Nicholas misses both free throws, and the Gales will have their first possession wearing the white uniforms, red numerals, silver trim. Here's Fotu, top of the key. Throws left side for Kuzi. 15 to shoot. Gales are one of the slowest teams in the country. They're 348 in tempo per Ken Palm. Here's Dukas catch and shoot three from Toss. That might have been partially deflected off the front iron. Dukas gets his own rebound, runs into a man on the dribble drive. Gales reset the half-court offense. Kuzi, right-hand drive from the top of the key, goes up. Contact, no call, missed layup, and the rebound into the hands of Jalen Ale Galen Alexander. Texas Southern, on the other hand, wants to play fast as Michael Weathers tees up and hits an open three. Gales a little miscommunication there defensively. And Weathers knocks down the triple. Tigers are on the board first. It's 3-0, Texas Southern. Here's Jabe Mullins, right wing. Throws the corner for Fotu. Man defense for the Tigers. Fotu with the left hand. Jump stop in the paint, and that's going to be a travel. Fotu ran into Nicholas. First look at Texas Southern. You know they're long. You know they're athletic. That was apparent on film. And again, they're starting front court 6'9 and 6'9, and Nicholas and Walker, both long, both athletic. Here's another drive by Weathers, who goes up and scores at the rim low left. He's got the first five of the ball game, and Texas Southern has a five-point lead. 
Scales back into the front court. St. Mary's is 0 of 2 from the field. They've turned it over, of course, on their last possession. Cousy off a handoff. Cousy to the top of the key, steps back, throws a shot fake. Outside for Mullins, back to Cousy. 12 to shoot, shot fake again. Now he'll take a right-hand drive and a foul called. Hand check on Nicholas, who Cousy had on a switch. So two minutes into our ballgame. Texas Southern with the game's first five points. Kuzi will inbound, box set for the Gales. Left side of the basket standard. Kuzi gets it in for Mullins. Mullins will bring the dribble back up top. Still 18 to shoot. Put 20 back on the shot clock after the foul on Texas Southern. That was their first. It came on Nicholas. Dukas off a screen. Dukas knifing inside and a foul called on the floor. This is also going to go on Nicholas. That'll be his second. Pardon me, that is on Weathers. Who's got the first five points for the Tigers. And Kuzi will up inbound opposite side of the basket standard this time on the baseline. Box set for St. Mary's. Kuzi in for Dukas. And back up top to Mullins. Gales will get set up in the half court. Attacking the basket to my right. Mullins off a toss screen. Rises up long two. That rims out. And in for the rebound is Alexander. He'll give it up to Weathers. Weathers breaking the timeline. 5-0. Texas Southern. Two and a half minutes in. Dribbling on Mullins, just underneath the foul line. Shoveled it out, Alexander, right-hand drive, kick out to the right baseline, and Nicholas knocks down a mid-range. About a 10-footer from the right baseline, and Texas Southern on a 7-0 run to start the ball game today. The Tigers have not missed from the field yet. Kuzi, right foul line extended, backing up Nicholas on a switch. Want to get it downstairs for Toss. Bad pass by Fotu, and Weathers steps into the passing lane, comes away with the steal. Tigers want to run. Alexander Eurostep will get himself to the line. Foul called on the Gales with 16.58 to go. It's 7-0 Texas Southern, and they'll have a chance for more here. Jay Mullins called for the personal, and Randy Bennett needs a timeout. So Texas Southern starts the ball game 3 for 3 from the field. The Gales have yet to make a field goal. And Randy Bennett will take a timeout. It is a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Gale's defense has been very good through the first four games of the year. They're allowing opponents to shoot just 41.3%, St. Mary's is, and score just 61.5 a game. But so far, Texas Southern, I mentioned, this game's been in a relatively fast pace. The Tigers have gotten out and run pretty successfully and gotten their offense going in a hurry. They're going to have more free throws here. They're three of three from the field, and that foul came on Mullins, his first. And remember, this is a Texas Southern team that has plenty of experience. An older club with 11 uh, upperclassmen, pardon me. And as I mentioned before, high major experience. Kyle Bowen checks in for the first time. Dan Fotu will sit down. And here's Alexander to the line for two shots. He's 9 of 12 from the stripe so far this season. Comes to Texas Southern, Alexander does, by way of Georgetown and LSU. Originally signed, actually, by Johnny Jones when he was the head coach down in Baton Rouge at LSU. Alexander only played in nine games at Georgetown a couple years ago before making the move to Texas Southern. He hits both free throws, and the Tigers are off to a 9-0 start. Gales have yet to hit a field goal, of course. As Kuzi out there with Mullins, Dukas, Bowen, and Toss. Mullins off a handoff, weave action for the Gales. Here's Kuzi, high left, off a Toss screen. To the elbow, sends it out for Mullins. Gales want to feed the post here. Doing a nice job denying it is Nicholas. Now Toss has it just outside the left box. Ten to shoot. Backing down. Man falls over. Kicks out to the left wing. Mullins a three. That's off the mark. Rebound batted around. Gathered by Dukas. And Dukas turns it over. Tried to get it back up to Kuzi. Weathers into the passing lane. And a run out for a two-hand jam. And a whistle and a flopping warning has been called on Nicholas. 11 straight for Texas Southern to start the ball game. And just what Marcus Schroeder told us could not happen three turnovers, and it's led to four Texas Southern points, 11-0 Tigers. They have yet to miss. They're four of four. Kuzi left off a screen. Here's Bowen in the corner. 
Bowen trying to feed the post. Here's Toss. Toss back to the basket. They got a flopping warning on the man guarding Toss right now. That's Nicholas. Toss backing down with the left hand dribble. Jump stop in the middle of the key. Turns over the left shoulder. Gets a right hand hook to go off the window, and the Gales are on the board, breaking an 11 0 Texas Southern run to start the ball game. As Weathers will walk it up. Toss the man on the board, of course, for St. Mary's. Left side, this is uh, Justin Hopkins. Ball handling with the left hand. He'll take it middle, trying to turn the corner. Rises up, floats at home in the paint. Tigers are five of five to start the ball game as Hopkins gets the deuce. 13 to two, Tigers. Kuzi hiding behind the screen, right hand drive. Terminates now, left alone, doesn't want the long two. Instead gives it up top to Dukas. 15 to shoot. Dukas eyes the floor, left off a toss screen, rises up for a long three, all the way around and out. Foul on the rebound is going to go on Matthias. Toss will go the other way, and that will take us to a timeout on the floor, and the Gales need this break to reorganize here. Texas Southern has opened the game 5 of 5. They've, they've turned St. Mary's over three times, and they have an 11-point lead over the Gales with 15-14 to go in half number one. We'll take a break. Come right back. You're listening to... Out here, it's due. This is Tommy Cousy. You're listening to the Gales basketball. Slow start for the Gales here at home today against Texas Southern as the Tigers have a 13-2 lead. Jordan Gillum has checked in for Texas Southern. Transfer from UC Riverside. And he will take the ball up the right wing. And the Tigers get set in the half court leading 13-2. They have not missed from the floor yet. Here's a nice high-low play. Is trying to find Walker was Nicholas. Through Walker's hands, he recovers, though. In the right corner, gives back up top to Gillum. Gillum will take it right, hand off Alexander. 10 to shoot. Gales are defending with a little bit more intensity right now. Here's a lob downstairs. Bowen breaks it up. Loose ball is gathered with three to shoot by Walker. Goes up in traffic and scores it off the window. I think you like that defensive sequence for the Gales a little bit better. Just got unlucky with the ricochet off the rim. Fortunate bounce for Texas Southern. As it stands, they're 6 of 6 to start the game, and they lead St. Mary's 15 to 2. Quinn Clinton into the game. He's got it right side. Feeds the post for Toss. Toss working on Nicholas. Spins baseline. Sends it out for Kuzi. He takes a left-hand drive. Out to Dukas. Around the perimeter. It comes to Clinton. Seven to shoot. Quinn puts it on the deck. Drives to the elbow. Kick out for Dukas. Three to shoot. Step back three right side for Dukas. That's off the front iron. And the rebound. And stepping on the baseline on the rebound is Alexander. That'll keep it with St. Mary's. And it'll get Chris Baldwin, 6'9", senior, into the game for the Tigers. Nicholas comes off 15 to 2. Texas Southern. Here comes Lemmett Bockler. He'll check in for Dukas, who doesn't have it rolling quite yet. 0 of 3 from the floor. Coming off 19 points against Nichols and 25 against South Dakota State. Kuzi in for Toss. Hand off to Kuzi. Right corner. Hides behind Toss. Put 20 back on the shot clock for the Gales. Now Bowen. Around the perimeter it comes left side for Bockler. 10 to shoot. Inside to Toss. Left baseline. Backing down on Baldwin. Kick out, left open is Bowen. He'll fire away. Three is way too strong. And the rebound batted around, gathered by Gillum. 15 to 2, Texas Southern. Alexander feeding the post. Here's Walker back to the basket. Mid lane line, terminates the dribble. Hits a cutter, that is Baldwin. Rises up for a foul line jumper. The Tigers finally miss. And the rebound cleared by St. Mary's. Here's Kuzi. Top of the key. Bockler left open, left wing, fires away. Three ball, Lemmett Bockler. So Lemmett announced his presence with eight points against Nichols two nights ago. Hits a three here. Maybe that will get the Gales some confidence on the offensive end. They're two of nine to start the game. One of six from deep. 15 to five, the Tiger lead. Right side, Alexander. Right baseline now, Baldwin. Up on Bowen, no good. Good defense by Kyle, and Bowen grabs the rebound. Sends Kuzi on his way. Up the near side. Hides behind the toss screen, hits top side. Clinton fires away. That three is good. Straight away for Quinn Clinton. Just like that, six straight for the Gales, all coming from bench players. And the lead for Texas Southern is down to seven, 15 to eight. Dribbling at the timeline. Gillum swings it left side. Alexander for the Tigers in the maroon. Step back long two over Bockler. That's too strong. Toss in for the rebound. And Kuzi will take it ahead, left to right. Kuzi with his head up. 
Left off a toss screen, turning the corner with the left hand, right down Broadway to the rim for the left-handed lay-in. And a timeout is taken by Johnny Jones, and now the Gales explode off the bench with 12.20 to go. That is eight straight for St. Mary's, capped by the Tommy Cousy lay-in. And it takes us to a timeout on the floor here in Moraga. Gales showing some life after a very slow start. And with 12.20 to play until halftime, they trail Texas Southern 15-10 on the St. Mary's Sports Network from Learfield IMG College. Diablo Valley Insurance Agency is a full-service independent insurance brokerage located in Walnut Creek. Founded in 1956, our agency has been providing insurance services to clients throughout Northern California and the Western United States for over 50 years. Our team of insurance professionals will take the time to understand your needs, whether personal or related to your business, and provide the best products and services for you. Go to DiabloValleyInsurance.com today to request a quote. Diablo Valley Insurance Agency, local, independent, trusted. When it comes to starting your career, think Bay Alarm. They've been securing gales for over 70 years. Based right here in the Bay Area, Bay Alarm has grown to become the largest independent security company in the United States. With more than 1,100 employees and an average employee tenure of 10 years, Bay Alarm can help you secure your future. Visit bayalarm.com slash careers to find out more. Now, more than ever, Bay Alarm. ACO 28 CCL 880138. Walnut Creek Convention and Visitors Bureau and the six hotels in Walnut Creek are proud to be the official lodging partners of St. Mary's College Athletics. Located less than seven miles from the St. Mary's campus, Walnut Creek is the jewel of the East Bay with a rich cultural history and thriving downtown of shops and restaurants. With lodging choices ranging from resorts to luxury boutiques to well-appointed hotels, Gales fans are sure to find something that will fit their budget and lifestyle. Go to visitwalnutcreek.org for more information. This is Kyle Bowen, and you're listening to Gales Basketball. Gales playing some defense and it's leading the offense. St. Mary's an 8 nothing run after the timeout taken by Texas Southern. Back to action here at University Credit Union Pavilion. Glad you're with us. Alex Jensen with you. Top side in Moraga. On the right side, Alexander. Ball handling on Bockler to the top of the key. Now he'll drive with the right hand, send it back outside. Walker thought about the three. Now we'll put it on the deck against Toss. And he travels. Turnover on Texas Southern as Walker takes one too many steps. Michael Weathers, the point guard, returns for the Tigers. They replaced Gillum. John Jones, the coach's son, is in there, six-foot senior out of Baton Rouge. Gales trail by five, eight minutes into the ball game. Cousy right off the screen. Around the perimeter comes to Bockler, now feeding the post. Haas has a mismatch here. They clear out the side for him, and Matthias will go to work on the six-foot Weathers. Kicks out of the post. Extra pass to the corner for Bowen, and a three is off the front iron. Offensive rebound to Bockler. Gales get set back here in the half court. Shot fake and a three for Kuzi. That's no good. Another offensive rebound for Bockler. And another fresh 20 for St. Mary's. Here's Toss on the catch. Left baseline. Going to go to work again on Weathers. Backing down. Weathers holds his ground. Out of the post it comes. Kuzi right hand drive. Gets to the rim. Blocked from behind. That's Walker that comes away with the rejection. Loose ball ends up in the hands of the Tigers. Here's Weathers. Dribbling right perimeter. Drives right baseline. Goes up. Blocked by Toss. Nice play defensively there by Matthias. And Kyle Bowen grabs the loose ball. 15-10 Texas Southern. Here's Bockler top side. Bad pass. Trying to find Toss inside. And that one... Tipped out of bounds off Matthias. It'll go back to Texas Southern. Here comes the freshman, Mitchell Saxon. He'll check in for Toss. St. Mary's has opened the game just 4 of 14, but they forced four straight misses for the Tigers. And they've gotten back into this one. Alexander off for Texas Southern. Justin Hopkins back in there. So Weathers will take it ahead. I mentioned Weathers. SWAC co-player of the week. He had 21.7 rebounds against Wyoming. Set out last season after the transfer from Oklahoma State. Whistle away from the ball. Here's a foul going to be called on Mitchell Saxon. He and Chris Baldwin were battling for position in the paint. Fourth foul on the Gales and the first on Saxon. Right side of the basket standard. Hopkins will send it in. Gets it in left perimeter to Walker. Guarded by Bowen. He wants to go. Right hand drive across the lane. Got Caught in no man's land in the middle of the air and threw it right to Bockler. Had to get rid of it. Couldn't put it up because Saxon was right there. Kuzi left to right. Kuzi off a pair of screens. Hits the pop. That's Bowen. Top of the key left. He'll hand it off Bockler. 
Shot fake. Now we'll feed Saxon on the post. Saxon pushed out. 15 feet from the basket. Left baseline. Skips it for Bowen. Bowen run off the line. Takes the left hand into the paint. Backing down. Pivots around. Goes up. Blocked from the strong side by Weathers. He tips it out of bounds. And on the baseline, it'll be St. Mary's basketball. Fotu and Dukas head to the scores table. They'll check back in. Yale's trail by five midway through the first half. Bowen off and Bockler off. Bockler up to three points, four rebounds in just a handful of minutes. Kuzi to trigger. Gets it into Clinton, rises up, 17-footer, right baseline, and it rims in. Second bucket for Quinn Clinton, and the Gales are within a possession. Catch and shoot long two. Here's Weathers between the circles. Drives past Kuzi. Goes up, blocked by Saxon. Kind of a bad decision there by Weathers as he got into the paint. Again, left his feet, nowhere to go with it, but up. And Saxon was right there. Gales back into the front court, trailing by three. They're on a 10-0 run, St. Mary's is, to get back to one possession. Kuzi out top. Kuzi off the screen. Drives with the right hand. Kicks out to the left corner. Fotu three is good. Count the bucket. Dan Fotu is fouled. He'll go to the line, chance for a four-point play. And we're tied at 15. That is what we saw two nights ago against Nichols. Kuzi penetrating, throwing a pass across the court to Fotu in the corner who buried the triple, got contact, and now to the line, chance for a four-point play. And Dan cans it. And it gives St. Mary's their first lead, a 14-0 Gale run. That was the fourth assist, all coming from Kuzi for St. Mary's on six made field goals. Nine and a half minutes to play first half. Weathers sends it outside, now inside. Back to the basket, Walker on Fotu. Into the lane, gets into the body of Fotu. Tough shot up with the right hand. That's no good, but a foul on the offensive rebound is going to go on Mitchell Saxon. Tied up there with Baldwin. We'll see if they get Baldwin on the shot. He will get two free throws out of this with 9.18 to go. This run for St. Mary has been fueled on the defensive end. They forced seven straight misses by Texas Southern and have held the Tigers scoreless for five and a half minutes. And they have their first lead at 16-15. Chris Baldwin to the line where he hits his first free throw. Another transfer from UMass, preseason second team all swack. Played last season with the Tigers. Average six points per game. Scoring decreases as the year went along, though. Hits both free throws here, and the Tigers are back on top at 17-16. Kuzi out top. Kuzi with the right hand to the elbow. Kicks out to Foe, two extra pass to Dukas. Closed out on there by Weathers. Here's Kuzi top side again. Taking a drive right lane line. Shoves it over to Saxon down low. Saxon, reverse lay-in up and under his man from the left side of the basket to the right side. Went up and under Baldwin that time, and Saxon gets his first bucket. Puts the Gales back on top, 18-17. Here's Jones. Jones out top. Over the head pass right side to Weathers. Trying to feed the post to Baldwin, coming from behind and committing another foul as Saxon. That's his third already. And on the Gales, that's their sixth. So the next foul will put Texas Southern at the line. Here comes Matthias Haas in for Saxon. Again with those three fouls. And the Tigers will inbound left side of the basket standard. Hopkins will send it in. Into Jones. Jones guarded by Clinton. Brings it back up top. Gives to the logo for Weathers. And Texas Southern gets set in the half court. Weathers with a catalyst early on for the Tigers. Back up top to Baldwin. And he hits a three. Straight away. Chris Baldwin knocks down a triple. It's his first of the year. He was 0 of 6 coming into that shot from outside. And the Tigers back up by two. Kuzi, whistle away from the ball, foul called. This is going to go on Texas Southern. It's on a backdoor cut there. This one coming on Jones. That's his second. Fourth team foul on the Tigers. Jones and Walker come off. Alexander and Nicholas back on for Johnny Jones' team. 8-14 to play until halftime. Gales trail by two. They've trailed by as many as 13 in this first half. Dukas off the catch from the inbound. Takes a right baseline jumper that comes up short. Alex Dukas has started the game 0 of 4. And the rebound cleared by the Tigers. 
Weathers off the screen. Hits the cutter, that's Nicholas. Back to the basket, jump stop in the lane. Right hand hook is up and good. Bouncy, 6-9 is Nicholas. And soft touch from the center of the key that time. Feathery right hand hook. Puts Texas Southern up by four. Kuzi, daring him to shoot out there. Angles his way through the lane to the left. Lob downstairs, toss on the catch, double team. They both fly by and toss gets a wide open. Lay in to go off the window, low right. Good patience by Matthias who had to jump and make the catch there. Two Tigers flew by him, went up and scored off the window. Gales trail by two. Weathers, top side. This is Baldwin, handoff back to the point guard Weathers. Has those shorts rolled halfway up his thighs. Hesitation move, left hand drive. Sends it out for Hopkins. Good close out by Clinton and the travel is called on the drive along the left baseline by Justin Hopkins. That turnover gives it back to the Gales and it takes us to a timeout on the floor. 7-10 to play in half number one. Texas Southern with an early lead over St. Mary's 22 to 20. You're listening to Gales basketball from Learfield IMG College. Management, Common Interest tailors its services for communities of all sizes. If you are currently evaluating a new management company, please visit us at commoninterest.com. This is St. Mary's Basketball on the Gales Radio Network. Be sure to get the latest news on the Gales by checking out smcgales.com. Get up-to-date scores, video highlights, stories about St. Mary's all in one place. If you're looking for more, find the Gales on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for even more insights. St. Mary's trails by two. They've got the ball. Taking it ahead is Kuzi. Throws it top side for Faux two. Around the perimeter it comes. 22 to 20. Clinton will take a three from the left side. That's no good. Long rebound, though, to Dukas. And a fresh 20 for St. Mary's. 22 to 20. Trying to feed the post. This is Toss. Back to the basket. Low left. Fakes a pass out of the post. Going to back down on Nicholas. Nicholas falls over again. Already been warned once for a charge. Or for a flopping warning, by the way. He falls over again this time. And Toss takes it right inside for a two-hand jam. This is going to be a technical on Nicholas. Who, again, he, he got warned for flopping early in this half. And did it again. And toss an easy two-hand jam to tie the game at 22. And the Gales will have technical free throw here. It will be taken by Quinn Clinton with 6.41 to go. Now, again, this is a rule that was put into place before last season. You, you, you cannot flop anymore. They had just... You get one warning, they, they actually stop the game, tell the scores table that there's a flopping warning. So everyone knows, and Jordan Nicholas tried it again and got whistled for the infraction. So Clinton hits the technical free throw. The Gales are back up by one, 23-22, and the Tigers back to the front court to my left. Here's Alexander driving in on Dukas, gets right to the rim, and finger rolls it home. So Alexander bullies his way inside, gets the deuce, puts the Tigers back up by one. 24-23, Kuzi left alone, takes a three straight away. That barely grazes the left side of the iron. And it'll roll out of bounds back to the Tigers. Gales 9 of 22 to start the ball game. Texas Southern 9 of 16. Tigers normally shoot just 38% or through the first three games, I should say. They're shooting just 38% from the floor. Weathers back into the ball game. Takes the head. 24-23. Texas Southern. Inside. Nicholas got behind Fotu and gets to the other side of the glass. Reverse layup is up and good. So Nicholas kind of wedged his way between Fotu and the baseline and puts the Tigers back up by three. Toss top of the key right. Sends it out for Kuzi between the circles. Right off the screen. Oh, to the other side. Tried to get it to Fotu. Knocked away by Alexander. Kuzi chases it down to the backcourt. 13 to shoot. Here's Clinton right side, teeing up a three. That comes up short. Rebound out of bounds off St. Mary's. And here comes Kyle Bowen. He'll check back in again for Dan Fotu. Gales normally rely on that three-point line. They take 26 threes a game. And thus far this season, shooting just 33%. They got off to a slow start. They were 50% from three on Tuesday against Nichols. Today, 13 of their 23 field goal attempts from the floor have come from deep, they're three of 13. Here's Alexander rising up for a left foul line extended J, that's up and good over Dukas. And just like that, six straight for the Tigers. 
who got off to an 11-0 start and a 15-2 start. If you extend that out a little bit, they're back up by five again. Kuzi to the foul line. Here's Bowen in the corner. Back up top for Kuzi. Looks low, now puts it on the deck. Throws left side for Dukas, feeding the post now to Toss. Toss back to the basket outside to Dukas. Left open, fires away. Three is too strong. And Alexander in for the rebound. Dukas 0 of 5 to start the ball game. And Weathers walks it across the timeline with the Tigers leading by five. Bent over the waist, holding a dribble, gets a play from the bench. Johnny Jones calls out instructions. Tigers go into a weave action. Here's Alexander dribbling on Bowen. Crossover now to the foul line. Nicholas, driving lane shut down there by Dukas. Tried to hand it off to Hopkins, and Dukas comes away with the steal. A run out for Dukas, who makes his way inside with the left hand and banks it home. So Dukas on the board. This is first make in six shots. And the Gales need a scoring punch. Their leading score at almost 16 a ball game. Gets the Gales back to within three. Four minutes to play until halftime. Weathers driving it on Kuzi and a foul called. Is it going to be offensive or defensive? It looks like it's defensive as I believe Dukas reached in. No, it's going to go on Tommy Kuzi called for a blocking foul. It'll result in one and one free throws for Michael Weathers. After this break, Texas Southern is showing you exactly why they're the favorite in the SWAC with a three-point lead with 3.58 to go. Bayalarm.com slash careers to find out more. Now, more than ever, Bayalarm. ACO 28 CCL 880138. This is Logan Johnson, and you're listening to St. Mary's Basketball. Gale fans, it's not too late to be at University Credit Union during home games this season in cardboard form. Take your own picture or pick from one of six iconic St. Mary's photos, and your cutout will be at UCU to cheer on the Gales all season long. To purchase a cutout, go to smcgales.com and click on the Gale Cutout link in order to order your cutout today. Orders must be received by December 9th in order to be at home games starting December 19th. One and one free throws here for Michael Weathers out of the timeout after the foul on Tommy Cousy. And Weathers hits the first. Cousy picking up that foul. The seventh on St. Mary's, the first on Tommy. Gales are shooting 10 of 25 from the field, but allowing Texas Southern 11 of 18. Back end for Weathers is up and good. And the Tigers, eight of the last 10 of the ball game. Back out to a five-point lead, 30-25. to 25. Kuzi out there with Jay Mullins, who's checked back in. Dukas, Bowen, and Toss. Kuzi off a handoff. Top of the key, reverses it to Dukas. They want to get Toss going down low. He's got it back to the basket. Looks for cutters. Fakes a pass outside. Now backing down on Nicholas. Out to the corner for Mullins. Nine to shoot. Mullins inside with the right hand. Turns around. Fall away Jay for an iron miss. Offensive board again to Bowen. Lost it on the ground, and Bowen picks it up. Duke is slow to his feet, by the way, limping around on that right foot, and they're going to stop it. Bowen goes, or uh, rather, Dukas goes down. This is not good. Bowen also pointing to his knee. I hope they just bumped knees there. Dukas is up and walking toward the bench, but he'll come off now, and Quinn Clinton will come on, along with Lemon Bockler, Jabe Mullins, and Dukas will come off, and Dukas, again, favoring that right side. Go over and see St. Mary's team trainer, Josh Sims. Gales have the basketball, 12 to shoot. On the left sideline, Bockler will send it in and get it into Kuzi. And Kuzi will start the offense here with nine to shoot. Left off a toss screen, left foul line extended. Out for Bockler straight away. Back to Kuzi, left side, four to shoot. Shot fake, left hand drive, getting to the rim and up and under with the right hand. Kuzi scoops it home. And the Tiger lead back to three. Kuzi's second field goal. He's two of six from the floor, does have six assists. All six assists for the Gales on 11 field goals. Weathers has it poked away by Bowen, chases it down with 13 to shoot. One hand pass the right side for Hopkins. Speeding the post, Nicholas rises up, mid-range right baseline. That's no good. Quinn Clinton comes away with a rebound in traffic. And Kuzi jogs it left to right. 30 to 27, Texas Southern. Here's Kuzi. Off a toss screen. Right lane line, circles on the baseline, terminates the dribble, throws out to the corner. Clinton extra pass, Bockler catch and shoot three left side, nothing but net. Limit Bockler's second triple of the first half, and a whistle called. I think a Tiger had his shoelaces untied. Lemon Bockler hits another triple. He's got two here in the first half. That one was from about a step outside of the three point line, catch and shoot variety. So we're tied at 30. 
Weathers back into the front court for the Tigers. Looking for the post. Alexander has it on Bockler. Gets inside a limit. Can't score. Bockler bothered it from behind, and Alexander fouls Bowen on the rebound. So the Gales get a stop and have a chance to take the lead with 2.12 to go here in the first half. Fourth foul on Texas Southern. And they'll now apply some full court pressure here as Bowen will inbound for Kuzi. That's the first foul on Alexander. Kuzi double teamed the backcourt, sends it cross court for Bockler. Bockler stretches a pass to the left side for Toss, skips it for Clinton. Clinton shot fake, gets it back to Kuzi. Kuzi behind the back pass to Lemmett. Bockler takes another three, he got another one! Lemmett Bockler on fire from deep here in the first half off the bench. He's three of three from three, and he puts the Gales up by three, and here's a steal. Bockler in the right corner this time, left open. Yes, sir! Lemon Bockler, the freshman, four of four from outside the arc. He's got 12 points here in half number one, and he puts the Gales up by six. Marcus Schroeder told me a couple days ago he can get it going in a hurry, much like much like a former Gale and Clint Steindl is here's a foul on Quinn Clinton shoving Walker from behind down low. And Walker will go to the line for two shots with 123 to go. It's fun to watch when a guy gets it going like that because Bockler came straight into the game, ignited the Gale offense with a three to make it 15 to five. And then once he hit that second three, kind of fading toward the baseline off a curl, off a catch, you could see it, him get it going. And once he caught the ball in the right corner, I mean, he knew that one was going down. He was wide open as John Walker the third hits his first free throw. Dukas looks like he's rubbing down that right knee on the St. Mary's bench. I think the good sign is that Josh Sims is not around him. Here's a lane violation on Texas Southern as Walker hit the free throw, but it won't count as I think Alexander stepped into the lane. So the Gales now lead by five with 1.20 to play in half number one, 36-31. Clinton off a handoff, dribbles left hands off to Kuzi, weave action, Kuzi right off the screen, surveys the floor up top to Bockler, left open again, lets another three fly! Limit Bockler! Nine straight for St. Mary's, he's five of five from deep. Here in the first half, the freshman out of Estonia with 15, and the Gales are up by eight. He's hit four straight for the Gales. He's got 12 straight St. Mary's points. Inside Nicholas, turns to the left hand, banks it home over Bowen. And with 40 seconds to play, the Gale lead down to six, 39-33. Here's Kuzi, top of the key, throws it left side to Bockler, guarded by Alexander, and he has it knocked away. And Alexander comes away with the steal, dribbles it off of his foot though, ends up back in the hands of Toss, throws it right side. Here's Kuzi now, and Kuzi travels. Gales had Bockler open on the left side. But Toss didn't see him. Instead gave it up to Bowen, who then gave it up to Kuzi in a slight moment of hesitation for Kuzi. Shuffled his feet. Fifth Gale turnover. And Texas Southern with the shot clock off can play for the final shot of the first half. A flurry here to end the first half by Lemmett Bockler. 12 in a row as the Gales up by six. Tigers are going to play for the last shot here. Four flat along the baseline. Dribbling at the logo is Weathers with nine. Guarded by Kuzi with five. Weathers makes his move. Left hand drive into the lane. Goes up and gets a contested lay in to go over Toss. And that will end the half as Weathers blew right by Kuzi with the left hand. Got right to the rim and laid it home to cut the Gale lead down to four at the break. But again, a flurry from Lemmett Bockler. Has the Gales on top here at halftime. 39 to 35 is the score. Bockler has 15 points to lead all scorers in half number one. He's five of five from the field. Five, of course, five of five from deep. And he's got five rebounds to go along with a steal. Lemmett Bockler, who again played sparingly against South Dakota State and against Nichols State, really kind of got it going down the stretch against the Colonels two nights ago. And he's carried that right on into tonight. But 
think the story for St. Mary's in this one is, and I'm sure the message in the locker room right now is going to be on the defensive end where the Gales allowed Texas Southern to shoot almost 60% from the floor, 13 of 22 from the field the Tigers were, were led by their point guard Michael Weathers who had 11 points. So St. Mary's who rebounded after a slow start to shoot 48%. The offense started to click down the stretch, but defensively is where the Gales are going to have to do a better job in the second half. That's where they've been very good all season long, St. Mary's has, but they're going to have to do a better job on the defensive side to stave off the Tigers in this one. A Tiger team.
take one more break. Come right back with the second half. You're listening to Gales Basketball from Learfield IMG College. My name's Tony Tornado. I write and star in my own shows and movies. My crew knows that I dream of Hollywood. They also know that I love Mountain Dew, but there's so much more they don't know. Sometimes at night, I look up at the stars and think, I know why Mountain Dew's so crucial to my existence, but does anybody else? See, Dew's the green gold circulating through my veins. It makes Tony Tornado believe that he can do anything. So now you know my secret, but there's so much more you don't know. Do the do. The Alamo Valley Insurance Agency is a full-service, independent insurance brokerage located in Walnut Creek. Founded in 1956, our agency has been providing insurance services to clients throughout Northern California and the Western United States for over 50 years. Our team of insurance professionals will take the time to understand your needs, whether personal or related to your business, and provide the best products and services for you. Go to DiabloValleyInsurance.com today to request a quote. Diablo Valley Insurance Agency. Local. Independent. Trusted. When it comes to starting your career, think Bay Alarm. They've been securing gales for over 70 years. Based right here in the Bay Area, Bay Alarm has grown to become the largest independent security company in the United States. With more than 1,100 employees and an average employee tenure of 10 years, Bay Alarm can help you secure your future. Visit bayalarm.com slash careers to find out more. Now, more than ever, Bay Alarm. ACO 28 CCL 880138. You're listening to St. Mary's Basketball on the Gales Radio Network. Once again, here's Alex Jensen. Gales with the ball out of halftime as Matthias Toss backs down on his man. Nicholas low left, throws out of the post and turns it over as Weather steps in the passing lane, comes away with a steal for Texas Southern. The third of the ball game for the Tigers, the sixth turnover for the Gales. Starters on the floor for both teams for Texas Southern. That is... Uh, Weathers with Hopkins, Alexander, Nicholas, and Walker. Here is Nicholas with the left-hand hook from the center of the paint. That's no good, but getting the offensive board, going back up and getting fouled is Weathers, I believe. Yes, it is Michael Weathers, and he will get make his way to the line with 19-18 to play. Foul coming on Alex Dukas. Good to see Dukas back out there after it looked like he bumped knees with Kyle Bowen in the first half, the last few minutes, of course, that made way for Lemon Bockler to come in and do what he did, hitting the last, hitting four threes in a row and scoring the last 12 of the first half for the Gales as Weathers rims in the free throw. So for the Gales to start the second half, you've got Kuzi with Mullins, Dukas, Bowen, and Toss. St. Mary's 48% for that first half. Texas Southern 59%. Second free throw for Weathers is good, and he's got a Baker's dozen now, 13 and he brings the Tigers back to within two. You can see the talent on this Tigers team. Kuzi, far sideline, with 23 on the shot clock. Mullins gets a handoff from Toss, backs up to the wing, throws top side for Kuzi, rotates to Bowen. Bowen for Toss. Toss right baseline, kicks out to Mullins, left open for a three, that's halfway down and out. Bowen with the offensive board, one dribble, sends it out. Here's Kuzi wide open left side, and he hits a three. Kuzi's first triple today. And left wide open that time in rhythm. Got the pass from Jabe Mullins and knocked it down. Gales up by five. 42-37. Kuzi now with seven points. In the second straight game, Tommy Kuzi had nine assists at halftime. Walker in the left corner. Tees up a three. That's off the front iron. Kuzi with the rebound. Gales have a three on two if they hurry. Out for Mullins. Mullins slows it down. Gives it back to Kuzi. And Kuzi hiding behind a Bowen screen. Now Kuzi probing, hitting a back cutter. Dukas out for Mullins. Mullins with a penetration, knocked away from behind by Weathers and a two-on-one for the Tigers. And coming from behind is Kuzi to steal the basketball back away. What a hustle play by Tommy Kuzi as he comes away with the basketball again. Getting the steal, we'll call that our Diablo Valley Insurance Agency play of the game. A hustle by Tommy Kuzi. Top, top of the key, Kuzi again. Kicks out to Mullins. Mullins for Dukas. Now Kuzi on the left side. They want to get the ball to Toss. Now he's got it. Left baseline, back to the basket on Hopkins. Got a size mismatch here, kicks out to Mullins. Left corner, three, and Mullins cans that one. And the Gales have their biggest lead of the game now. It's at eight. That's Mullins' first bucket. He hits a three from the left corner. Weathers drives by Kuzi, kicks out to the right corner. Shot fake, fly by Hopkins, three. That's short. 
And the rebound will trickle out of bounds off of Texas. No, did it hit a gale? It, it must have hit a gale. Kuzi, or rather uh, Mullins and Toss chased that one down, let it roll out of bounds like it last touched Texas Southern, but ruled the other way. So the Tigers will inbound, and it comes into Weathers. 45-37 St. Mary. Six straight on two back-to-back -back threes by Kuzi and Mullins. Right corner, Alexander on Dukas. Rises up, 10-footer off the bounce. That's no good, and Kuzi grabs the board. He'll take it ahead. Right to left, angling toward the far side. Hits Bowen left side, rotates to Dukas. Dukas for Kuzi, now Clinton. Right side, shot fake, now inside to Toss. Toss back to the basket, right baseline. On Nicholas, spins toward the baseline. Met by a double team, and a foul is going to come on Michael Weathers. That'll be his second. First of the second half on the Tigers. Weathers, 13 points, two assists, four steals. And it comes to Toss from the baseline. Hand off back to Kuzi. Gales gets set in the half court. Kuzi lets another three fly. That one too strong. Toss with the offensive board. Fresh 20 for the Gales. Out to Clinton. Clinton run off the line. Gives to Dukas. Left side. Off line on a three. But a foul called on Quinn Clinton. Trying to set a screen it looked like for Dukas right in front of the ball. So that turns it over. Ninth Gale turnover. Compared to 12 assists, Gales have been sharing the ball nicely again today. 12 assists on 17 field goals. Off comes Weathers. And in comes Jamar Redis for the first time. One of two twins on this team. 5'11 sophomore out of Houston. He's ball handling. Throws it left side for Alexander. Guarded by Dukas. Ball handling on Dukas. Trying to take it inside. Dribbles into a double team and travels. Kuzi. Alexander angled right toward Kuzi, who came down from the top of the key. Forced a turnover. Gales lead by eight. 16 and a half to go. And Kuzi walks it ahead. Off a toss screen. Top side for Bowen. Bowen chased by Alexander. Feeding toss again is Dukas. Low left. Toss. Out to Dukas, 12 to shoot. Kuzi will repost Toss. Back to the basket, just a couple feet off the box. Toss soaring across the lane, gets to a right-hand hook, comes up short. Nicholas with the rebound for Texas Southern. Redis into the front court between the circles, angling left. Near side to Hopkins, knifes to the foul line, kicks out Walker, leans in and knocks in a three. Kind of leans forward before he releases that long-range jumper. But he hits the three, and the St. Mary's lead back to five. Third three of the game for Texas. Other three of five from deep. Here's Clinton, left foul line extended, backs up to the wing, has Nicholas on a switch, gives top side to Kuzi. Eight to shoot. Kuzi with the right hand, spinning back left, rising up and floating at home from the left side of the lane. Nice drive and finish by Tommy Kuzi. Gales back up seven. As the Tigers in the maroon back to the front court to my right. Nicholas guarded by Bowen. Angles right, gives to Alexander, drives the baseline, back to Nicholas. Shot fake on the top of the key jumper. Hands it back off to Alexander. Dribbling on Dukas, rises for three off the bounce, and he hits it. Called a long two, actually. Long two for Galen Nicholas. 47-42. Gales on top. Clinton angling left with the dribble on the perimeter. Hits a back cutter. It's Kuzi. Gets low left. Scores off the window. Nice play by Clinton and Tommy Kuzi. And Gales kind of faked that weave action out on the perimeter. And Kuzi, instead of coming up to get the ball, cut on the left baseline and got the lay-in. Dukas knocks a pass away. Alexander recovers. Gives to Walker, leans in for another three. That's too strong. Rebound tapped around, knocked away, and a foul chasing after the ball on Alexander. Kyle Bowen and Alexander both coming after the ball toward the near side. Alexander used the off arm to shove Bowen away, and that foul takes us to a timeout on the floor here in Moraga. The foul on Alexander, the second on the Tigers, and the second on Alexander here in the second half. Timeout on the floor, break in the action, and St. Mary's leads Texas Southern.
gaelsbasketball.org for more information. This is Daniel Fudo, and you're listening to Gales Basketball. 10.35 to play. And Galen Alexander will go to the line. Chance for a three-point play. I mentioned the double-double for Tommy Cousy. It's his second career double-double. Cousy, 11 points, 10 assists against Cal State Fullerton here a year ago. And Galen Alexander will hit the free throw. So the Gale lead down to five. Bowen back into the game along with Bockler, who's being hounded by Weathers, and Bowen will have to take a timeout here. And I believe that will take us to a full timeout as well with 10.20 to go. 56-51 St. Mary's midway through the second half. This is Gales basketball from Learfield IMG College. My name's Tony Tornado. I write and star in my own shows and movies. My crew knows that I dream of Hollywood. You're listening to St. Mary's Basketball on the Gales Radio Network. Shamrock Office Solutions have been delivering digital copier and technology solutions to the Bay Area for over 19 years and is a proud partner of St. Mary's College Athletics. Visit them online today, shamrockoffice.com. Gales with the basketball off the timeout taken by Kyle Bowen with 12 to shoot. Tommy Cousy on the right side of the lane, floats it downstairs for Tasso. As a shot fake goes up low left, can't score, but Matthias is fouled by Nicholas. And Toss will get to the line with 10-10 to play in a close game between St. Mary's and Texas Southern. The Tigers are shooting 54% for the game. St. Mary's at 51%, but again, got to do the work on the defensive end as Toss has two free throws here, and he hits his first. 10-10 to play, 57-51. Matthias so far this season. Averaging 9.3 points, five rebounds a game. Cans both free throws here. Gales are up seven. And the Tigers take it back ahead. Sutter's on the floor for the Tigers. Here's Alexander at top side, guarded by Bockler. Driving on the right baseline. Hopkins inside on Clinton. Can't get it to go. Offensive board Walker. He can't score another offensive rebound to Nicholas, who goes back up and floats it home. Tigers doing the work on the offensive boards. They've got four, but a handful in the last full few minutes. Kuzi right side. He's got a double-double today, 11 points, 11 assists. Kuzi with the left hand to the foul line, kicks out to the corner. Clinton's three is blocked by Weathers. That's his second rejection of the day. He'll take it ahead left to right. Runs into Clinton. Offensive foul is called on Michael Weathers as Quinn Clinton draws the charge on Weathers. Charging to the basket, trying to go coast to coast. That's Weathers' third foul now, and of course he is the guy for the Tigers. He's got 17 points on six of nine shooting. Fourth team foul here in the second half on Texas Southern. Kuzi back into the front court. Kuzi with the right hand drive, scoops it up with the right hand, can't score, but a foul called. This is gonna go on Hopkins, and Tommy Kuzi will make his way to the line. Fifth team foul now on the Tigers with 9.14 to play. Here in the second half, and Tommy Cousy to the stripe for two shots. Gales have 15 assists tonight on 22 field goals. They're four of four from the line tonight. And Tommy Cousy, a double-double, his second of his career. 11 points, 11 assists, and his first free throw is good. Tommy has our play of the game today. Our Walnut Creek Convention Bureau's Visitors Bureau play at the game. Kuzi misses the second free throw. Rebound taken in by Walker. And Weathers walks it up. 59-53 St. Mary's. They fell behind 15-2 to start the game. But the Gales have led by as many as 10. Here's Nicholas on a pass from the top of the key from Weathers who leaves his feet and banks it in. Nicholas four straight for the Tigers. Four-point game again. Kuzi off a toss screen. To the left elbow, up top for Bockler. Who had that flurry to end the first half. Down low to toss, a little two-man game. Inside to Clinton, extra pass to the corner for Bowen, and he cans a triple. 
big play there as Clinton drove the lane, got the pass from Toss, found a wide open shooter. It's Kyle Bowen for a corner three. Extra pass is something the Gales did so well against Nichols. They're doing it again tonight. Hopkins drives off the right wing, runs into Clinton, goes up, can't score low right. Hits the deck, Toss with the rebound. Kuzi up the left wing. Kuzi crosses over with the left hand to the baseline. Hesitation moves, circles out into the paint. Kick out to Bowen. Bowen shot fake, didn't want the three. Now he's going to back down Weathers. Kicks out to Kuzi, left wing. Jab step on Nicholas. Now directing traffic. They're going to try and clear out the side and post up Toss. Toss has it now on Walker. Left baseline, eight to shoot. Out to Bockler, takes a three. Got another one. Limit Bockler. Six of six from three tonight. And he leads all scores with 18. And you can see two Tigers fly at him that time. And he puts the Gales back up by double digits, 65 to 55. Left side, Alexander turns it over. Looking for the pot man. That was Walker out to the left foul line extended. Kuzi comes away with the steal. Corner for Clinton, another three, another splash. Quinn Clinton with a three. That is number 12. Number 13 make it on the night for the Gales. And Johnny Jones needs a timeout. Texas Southern had cut it to four. And the Gales respond with threes from Bowen, Bockler, and Quinn Clinton. And a timeout taken by the Tigers. 7.09 to play. The Gales threatening to separate. They lead Texas Southern 68 to 55. dot com slash careers to find out more now more than ever bay alarm aco 28 ccl 880138 this is quinn clinton and you're listening to st mary's basketball quinn clinton's three gives the gales their biggest lead of the game at 13 out of the timeout and texas texas southern has it Tack the basket to my right off the johnny jones called timeout here is weathers running into toss at the top of the key trying to post up nicholas on bowen bow uh, right Baseline, Nicholas into the lane, pivots, gets the glass, banks it home. That ends a 9-0 St. Mary's run. As Nicholas banks it in, and the Gale lead down to 11. Kuzi has a horn set, takes around to the left, now back to the right. Here's Bowen on the pop, gives to Bockler, he'll feed the post. Toss on the catch. Left baseline, turns and faces on Nicholas, jab step, jab step. Now backs down, terminates the dribble, kicks out. Clinton another three, got it again! Quinn Clinton, fourth three of the game. He's got 15 now, and the Gales have opened up a 14-point lead. Man fell away, over away from the play, and Weathers, kind of a broken play there, dribbled to a spot, rises up and knocks down a 17-footer. And another answer for Texas Southern, making the Gale lead a dozen. 71-59, here's Bowen on the left wing. Bowen eyes the floor. The Gales in this half, seven of 12 from three. Kuzi off a handoff. Leaves it for Bockler. Shot fake, left hand drive, rises up just inside the foul line. That one's too strong, and the rebound saved by Walker into Weathers. Bockler's only miss from inside the key. Weathers between the circles with the left hand, rises up, fouled by Bowen. And Weathers will make his way to the line, 5.35 to go. Tonight's This Date in St. Mary's History, presented by Shamrock Office Solutions, brings us back to December 3rd, 2011. St. Mary's visited Cal Poly and beat the Mustangs for the first time on the road since 1962. Then freshman Brad Waldo had a career-high 13 points, and senior Rob Jones, who's now sitting on the St. Mary's bench as a part of the staff, had a double-double, 18 points and 12 rebounds in the victory. That was This Date in St. Mary's History. Presented by Shamrock Office Solutions, who have been delivering digital copier and technology solutions to the Bay Area for over 18 years. To learn more, go to shamrockoffice.com. Second free throw coming for Weathers. He splits them, and the Gale lead to 11. That foul on Bowen, by the way, the fifth on the Gales, and on Bowen, his first. Kuzi right to left, gives to Bowen topside, rotates to Bockler, guarded by Alexander, ripped through, drives to the baseline, reverse land! Are you kidding me? Limit, Bockler. 
I mean, that was up and under two Tigers. He drove the left baseline, reverse lay into the right side. He's got 20 now when we get a whistle here and a foul coming. Lemmett Bockler, man, is this guy fun to watch. Uh, he heated up in the first half for five threes, got another one here in the second half, and then a high degree of difficulty on the finish, uh, an up and under reverse lay-in, up and under two Tigers. Having himself a game. Weathers makes his way to the line again as he's fouled by Kuzi. That's his third foul. And Weathers' his first free throw is up and good. Keep in mind that even with this now 12-point St. Mary's lead, Texas Southern is still shooting 54% for the game. And this guy, Michael Weathers, who was the freshman of the year, by the way, at Miami of Ohio in the MAC his first year in college, misses the second free throw. He's got 21 points on 7 of 10 shooting. Gales back into the front court to my left inside of five minutes to play now. Kuzi off a handoff from Bowen. Dribbles left side of the logo. Gets the Gales organized in the half court. St. Mary's leads by 12. Kuzi off a screen. Hesitation move with eight to shoot. Sends it out to Clinton. Run off the line. Clinton drives. Tried to get a bounce pass to the middle of the paint for Toss. But a three-second call called on Matthias. And the Gales turn it over. That's their tenth of the game. Compared to 19 assists, though. Inclu including a career-high 12 from Tommy Kuzi. Here's Weathers, left-hand drive down the paint, goes up rejected by Toss, and Toss gathers the loose ball. Gives it up to Kuzi, and Tommy will be content to jog it ahead. Bockler left wide open, right wing, another three. This one too strong, and Toss battles for the rebound. Alexander comes away with it. Give it to Gillum back into the game. Now Weathers feeding the post. Here's Walker back to the basket, turns and faces, rises up, 10-footer left baseline, no good. Over Toss, and the rebound batted around. And into the hands of Kuzi. Toss at the deck. He hustles his way back now. And with four minutes to play, and the Gales with a dozen-point lead, they will be content to wind the shot clock down. Kuzi off a bounce pass from Bockler, dribbling at the logo. Eyes the floor. Gets a high screen from Toss with nine to shoot. Kuzi spinning around to the right hand, circling around. Down the right lane line, rises up. That one rejected by Gillum. Kuzi kind of got caught in no man's land there with Gillum all over him and the shot clock winding down. Tigers come away with a loose ball. Gillum a crossover. Dribbles his way to the baseline. Kicks out to Alexander. Shot fake on a three. Dribbling on Bockler. Pulls up for a 17-footer right elbow. That no good. And Clinton in for the rebound. Quinn Clinton's had his best game of his career. 30, point, or 30 minutes, 15 points. Three rebounds, three assists. Bowen on the left wing. Three and change to go. Top of the key, Toss. Dribbles left, hands off to Kuzi. Kuzi hides behind a screen, fires away wide open, and he cans a three. And Randy Bennett will take a timeout as Kuzi gives the Gales a 15-point lead with St. Mary's 15th three of the evening. So a timeout, Randy Bennett. That takes us to a timeout, a full timeout here in Moraga. Final three minutes coming up next. The Gales out to their biggest lead of the ball game. They lead Texas Southern 76 to 61 on the St. Mary's Sports Network from Learfield IMG College. Show your school spirit and earn rewards as the official credit union of St. Mary's College, University Credit Union offers a custom-designed rewards credit card for the Gale family. Enjoy no annual fee while earning unlimited points, making the UCU St. Mary's credit card the perfect card to use for everyday use. Plus, when you open a UCU checking account, you'll show even more Gale pride with the St. Mary's College debit card. Visit ucu.org to learn more and apply today. Federally insured by NCUA. Shamrock Office Solutions is a proud partner of St. Mary's College Athletics and has been delivering digital copier and technology solutions to the Bay Area for over a second do. Out here, we don't just play big buck hunt. We hunt actual big bucks. And out here, the best road is off-road, and the color of your truck is mud. Out here, it's do. This is Matthias Toss, and you're listening to St. Mary's Basketball. Final three minutes from University Credit Union Pavilion. Alex Jensen with you here on the St. Mary's Sports Network, as well as the WCC Network. Glad you could join us on this Thursday night. St. Mary's leading Texas Southern by 15. Here's a three off the catch from Walker from the top of the key on the right, and that is no good. Ends up in the hands of Quinn Clinton. 
And inside of three minutes, Tommy Cousy out there with Clinton, Dukas, Bowen, and Toss. We'll get set here in the half court. Toss top of the key, dribbles left, hands it off for Cousy. 13 to shoot, Cousy right off the screen, working on a double-double, drives right lane line, tried to hook a pass over his head to Toss, and it's knocked away. But a foul called first. Weathers picks up his fourth. He's been one of the best players on the floor tonight. It's his fourth foul. 16 foul on the Tigers, so a baseline out of bounds for Cousy, who gets it in a toss. He'll hand it back off to the point guard, Cousy, who gets the Gales set in the half court. 15 points, 12 assists with three steals for Cousy tonight. Left off a toss screen with seven to shoot. Cousy waits, leaves his feet, drops it off the toss, goes up low left, and hooks it in. Assist number 13 for Tommy Cousy tonight. 78 61 Gales. Here's Weathers with the Euro step in the lane. Hits the cutter. That's Walker. Reverse lay in doesn't go. Rebound tap gathered by Dukas. And Cousy will take it ahead inside of two minutes to play now. With the Gales leading by 17. Dan Fotu, Matt Van Coleman off the bench for the Gales. Cousy is bumped by John Jones out by the timeline. This will be free throws with 145 to play for Tommy Cousy of the one and one variety. Van Komen, Brown, Judah Brown, and Fotu come on. Four Gales came off. Dukas will stay in. Clinton, Bowen, and Toss off for the Gales. Time to take a look at where the Gales are playing on the road this week. And the only road contest for St. Mary's basketball is on Friday. The St. Mary's women will head down to Fresno as Cousy misses the front end of a one and one to take on the Fresno State Bulldogs. At 5 p.m., that game tomorrow at 5 p.m., left-hand drive, Weathers up and under, lays it in with the right hand. And makes it a 15-point game with 90 seconds to play. So Cousy will walk it up. Eye the floor, holding that left-hand dribble. Here comes Van Komen to set a screen. Waves off help. 14 to shoot, timeout taken by Randy Bennett, and he'll get some more subs in here. Jay Mullins will head to the scorer's table. And by the way, looking at where the Gales were playing on the road this week, that was your Compass Transportation on the move report. Compass Transportation is the official bus transportation provider for St. Mary's College Athletics. To learn more, go to compasstransportation.net. 78-63, the St. Mary's lead. Final 116 upcoming here from Moraga as Randy Bennett takes the timeout. Tommy Cousy, a career high with 13 assists tonight. Part of a 15-point, 13 assist double-double and just one turnover. So the last two games now for Tommy Cousy, that is 23 assists and two turnovers. That's what you want your point guard to do. Other career highs for the Gales tonight. Lemon Bockler, of course, with the 20 points, really igniting the Gales offense. 20 points on nine shots. Seven of nine shooting, six of seven from the three-point line. Quinn Clinton had 15 points. Go along with four rebounds and three assists. 30 minutes for Clinton tonight. Randy Bennett electing to go with the sophomore for a good portion of tonight's game. And we had a, a few threes to kind of put this game away down the stretch in the second half. So it'll be Mullins with Brown, Dukas, Fotu, and Van Komen. 12 to shoot. Mullins gathers the inbounds pass. 35 feet from the basket, right off of Van Komen's screen, reverses it to Fotu. Now Brown on the left wing, five to shoot. Brown steps back to the corner, gives to Mullins. Shot fake, flyby, three at the end of the clock. That's off the rim. Fotu with the offensive board, goes up, can't score, but Dan Fotu will make his way to the line. John Walker the third, the guilty party. And Fotu will go to the stripe. For two shots, Fotu, four points. He had that four-point play in the first half, and he rims in the first free throw. Here comes Quentin Brigham, 6'5", senior out of Fort Worth. For the Tigers, he replaces Walker with 59 seconds to play. Second free throw, no good for Fotu, but a lane violation is going to be called, I believe, on Van Komen, or is it a foul? That's a foul on Matt Van Komen. 
So that is the seventh team foul on the Gales. We'll walk to the other end. Quinton Brigham fresh into the ball game. We'll have free throws with 59.1 to go. The Gales with a 16-point lead. This will be consecutive win number four for the Gales after the season opening loss to Memphis. It will prove to four and one. Texas Southern again as Brigham hits the first free. This team is going to make some noise in the SWAC. They've got some serious talent. You look at Weathers and Alexander, Walker, and Nicholas, a, a very athletic, long front court. You can see why they're the favorites in their league. Brigham hits both free throws, and Jay Mullins will take it ahead. One-on-one -on -one pressure from Jamar Reedus. Mullins angles left, now switches back to the right hand out by the timeline with 20 to shoot. Jabe dribbled to the right wing. It's Dukas popping out now to the left wing for Judah Brown. Inside over through his man. That's Matt Van Komen. And Van Komen runs into Hopkins, trying to make his way back down the floor. But Judah just a little too tall for Van Komen, who stands at 7'4", Matt Van Komen does. But Brown just overshot him by a little bit. So with 38.5 to go, free throws now for Justin Hopkins. One and one. Front end is up and good. Next broadcast will come your way on December 8th, St. Mary's and UTEP. Brian Brownfield will have the video stream for you. I'll be alongside on radio. Hopkins hits both free throws. He'll lead back to a dozen. Here's Dukas just below the hash mark on the far sideline. Brings it up top. Throws from Mullins' top side. Mullins left off a screen. Kicks out to the corner. Judah Brown takes it. Hits a three. First collegiate points for Judah Brown, the freshman out of Bermuda Dunes, California. And it's a three from the left corner. Put the Gales up by 15. 82 to 67. Shot clock is off with 13 on the game clock. Jones fires away behind the screen, hits a long three from the right side with 10 seconds left. And all Jabe Mullins will have to do is break the timeline along the right side, and that will be that. Final score, St. Mary's 82, Texas Southern 70. It was a rough start for the Gales, who fell behind 15-2, but a 16-2 run in the first half, and then Lemmett Bockler, Gave the Gales a lead for good with 12 straight for St. Mary's, including three threes in a 49-second stretch to put St. Mary's up, a lead that the Gales would not relinquish as Texas Southern did cut it down to as little as four with inside of nine minutes to play. And But then a 12-2 St. Mary's run in a two-minute span, including three consecutive threes from Bowen, Bockler, and Clinton. And then another three from Clinton after a two from Carl, uh, pardon me, Jordan Carl Nicholas. A 12-2 run. That gave the Gales a 14-point lead, and they would not look back from there. Once again, your final score, St. Mary's 82, Texas Southern 70. Again, on the stream uh, on, what is December 8th? Is that next Tuesday? I believe that's Tuesday next week. Brian Brownfield will have your video streaming call for the rest of the month of December. Uh, I will still be alongside on radio, but you're in excellent hands with Brian Brownfield on the video stream. If you want to join us for the post-game show, that's coming up next on TuneIn Radio, the St. Mary's Basketball Network on TuneIn Radio. You can find the live stream there. As uh, Again, COVID protocols this year. We're not going to have a, a post-game coaches show, but I'll, you know, I'll give you the recap of this one. Take a look at the stats and, and what's coming next. But what you need to know right now is that the Gales pick up their fourth consecutive win. They improved to 4-1 and one with an 82-70 win over a very good Texas Southern team. Again, a Texas Southern team that's going to make some noise in the SWAC, and well, they'll be looking for their first NCAA tournament since 2017. Thanks to Megan Siebersma, her entire crew here around University Credit Union Pavilion. Again, stick around for our postgame show over on TuneIn Radio. That is coming next, uh, but so long to everybody watching on the WCC Network. Our postgame show continues next over on TuneIn Radio. And once again, your final score, St. Mary's picking up their fourth consecutive win, 82-70 to 70 over the Tigers of Texas Southern. We'll take a break, come right back with postgame on the St. Mary's Sports Network from Learfield IMG College. 